All right. Um, let's get into this linebacker stuff. And I just wanted to go show you how, like, a weak second level can lead to explosive plays. But also I wanted to highlight some of the things that, you know, that you hear me talking about with certain players. I'm not lying. Like they're still appearing up on film. Like people have been watching me talk about Baker. They remember my Baker video from last year. Well, he pops up a lot in this. And this is a guy who you all know I was critical of the money we paid him. And I just wanted to go ahead and show each and every one of you um, this stuff. And so let's get into like a little – mini i'll tell you, this isn't going to be as depth as like what i'm going to do on javon holland and such like that but we're going to do a little mini um film study i got 10 plays i want to break down on the linebacker core that we've seen over um the last two weeks and heading into this week all right so let's get Go ahead. Let's get into this right now. All right. So let me just starting off here. You can see Dolphins are currently showing initially cover two. And um, this is just the opening play of the season. And you the first play um, that the Patriots run on us. Um, so what you see right now is the two guys in the middle there is um, Alana Roberts is your mic towards the strong, strong side. And right now um, Baker's your will. He's towards the weak side right there. He's on the right in the middle. And we just, we're just going to watch it through here. And what you can see is, Andrews, the center, he's going to snap the ball. He's going to get to the second level. He's going to engage Baker right there. See him engage Baker. While um, Shaq Lawson, the right guard, is who's currently engaging Landon Roberts right there. And both guys just get displaced. To create, And that creates the huge lane right there for Damian Harris. Look at that. Gone. And Damian Harris, both your both your guys in the middle got washed out completely on that play. You're going to see it better here. So they would run their motion. Checking to see if we're in man or zone. We're still showing zone. They get the handoff. Now look at look at that hole right there. Okay, Landon Roberts is engaged on the right side here with um, Shaq Mason. And it's just huh yeah. Baker just totally washed out by 69 right there like you know brought down to his knees basically and there's a big play they're just not good against the run but you know what's this what does this show you again you know once he can't play in traffic and he can't get off his blocks it's just not his strength, right? So watch Baker here again. Let's watch it. Look at Andrews gets to the second level, washes him out. Sorry, I said 69 earlier. It's Andrews 60, washed out Baker right there. Um, and then, yeah, look at Alana Roberts totally taken out by Shaq Mason. And it's too late. And huge gain, and that's how this season started. Nothing, nothing real good. So, um, all right, let's uh, let's keep it rolling here. Um, so Baker again is towards the weak side. Um, with Roberts as the mic, and this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about when I say Baker can't get off his blocks until the runner has passed him. Uh, well beyond the line of scrimmage, you know, when the yardage is already gained, when he makes his tackle, those those tackles, I tell you, where they padding the stats. This is exactly what I showed you. So look at Jenkins gave him the sign over the hip that they're coming, and look, Baker's engaged right now. Lane's there, but I mean, look at what he already gained. He cannot get off the blocks. 
So you go, you go, you go back. We'll, we'll watch this right here. So what you're gonna see is uh, the left guard. I believe it's Michael on when you. Um, I believe it's on this play. He's gonna give a slight chip to the inside, and then he's gonna step up to the second level. He's gonna take on Baker with ease. Roberts is gonna try and get into the backfield, but Johnu Smith. Um, he's gonna use his momentum and leverage against him and plant him to the turf. So watch here, a better view. So here you go, John who engages, he's driven down, and look at the job and when he's doing on Baker, just just mauling him right now, right? Baker's head's down, he doesn't even know what's going on. He's stuck in, he's locked in the chest, and then there you go, he tries to release, but it's too late. The damage is done. The hole in the lane's been created, and the first down gained. Um. So Dolphins are now showing that single high shell they love so much. Baker is right over here over top of the B gap. He's showing a potential he's showing a potential blitz. And watch here. The ball is going to be snapped. And Baker, see now you see Baker going out into the flats uh, with James White, who's coming out of the backfield. And you're going to see here right there before he gets to the um, 30. I'm going to roll it and watch James White. He's going to give a little hezzy step right there. And Baker bites just enough on that that now the outside leverage is gained on the wheel route. He's beyond, he's now gone on him. And Mac just drops it over the shoulder. Easy completion. You know, Baker doesn't even have a play, a potential play on the ball because he's chasing and trying to make up ground instead. Big gain. Big gain right there. So, again, you see Baker showing it right here. And he's actually going to end up following White. We still see how he looped Wilkins up the middle. Wilkins came free, but the wheel route was already open. Boom. Right in the basket. First down. Come on, guys. I thought Jerome Baker was uh was good in coverage. It's the same, it's the same stuff that um it's the same stuff we were seeing last year all over again. So now Dolphins cover one look again while pass your 12 man personnel with they got Max Protect to the right. So Baker and Sam Miglovine are almost immediately going to get washed out. And Harris is going to have a huge lane up the gut. Watch this. There's there who up right there. Look at washed. Look at the blocking. Gone. Look at the God view right here. So now they got, you know, they got Baker and Sam Miglovine working the middle on this one. No Alan and Roberts shucks. So Baker, he's going to engage. He's going to step up and engage. He's brought down to his knees right there. And what do, if you go back, look at 49, what 49 is going to do here is he's going to bite on the handoff, he's going to over pursue just a little too too much to the left. So when that cutback comes, he look at he's walked himself into traffic, and now he's got to try and disengage, but it's too late. And first down by James White. All right, again, this is a cover one zone look right here, um, and. It's a cover one. They drop in the zone. Sam McGuvini, he's playing the running back here. Um, he, You see him lined up. I believe he's in the he's in the A gap right now. He's filling the A gap, shading the right shoulder of Andrews, the center. And what he's going to do is he's going to drop back into coverage, but watch. He runs in. He pushes off Jenkins. Right, he runs into Jenkins, bumps him a little bit, and if you see right now, if you look at the thirty to the right, Kendrick Bourne, he's on a drag route and he's starting to break on his drag route to come across, and Sam McGovern flips his hips and starts his back paddle, and he's just gonna overdrop on his buck drop. He overdrops way too far back, almost to the forty, gives up that everything in front of him, Kendrick Bourne is now right there. He, he wasn't even aware of Kendrick when he was 
dropping back. And then here's where it gets ugly. You've got him towards the sideline. Look at the angle he took. He didn't take an angle towards the ball carrier. He takes an angle towards the sideline. See? And what happens is he gets washed out with a cutback and he gets made to look foolish. Bad angle, man. Bad open field angle by Sam Iguavon. And now he makes a couple other defenders look foolish and gets up. So instead of getting knocked out back at. Let's go back here. Instead of getting knocked out at around the 49, the 39, he gets it all the way up to about the 46. So six extra yards because he took a bad angle. Now, there was an illegal blindside hit on that play, but. You know, it was still a terrible play. You're going to see it here again. Drops back after running in. And he just, he didn't notice him. Like, he overdropped because he didn't notice him coming from his left side. And that's why. he just, just That's just spatial awareness. Defensive awareness. And then he over-pursues on a bad angle. And he's hung out to dry. And Sam McGovern looks looks like crap on that. All right, now let's go to the Bills game. Just like the week before, the run defense is exposed almost immediately on the opponent's opening drive here. Baker, if you see Baker right here, um, Baker is standing at the um, 47-yard line right here. And what he's going to do is he's going to get caught flat-footed. And he actually isn't going to break on the ball carrier until the ball carrier, uh, who's Devin Singletary, crosses the line of scrimmage. Now, what you have also here in the box, sitting at the 40, is McCourty's out here too. They're bringing Brandon Jones in uh, as that hybrid linebacker safety right now, that extra DB right now, of playing him in the box. Um, and if you look at the left guard for the Bills, he's going to get to the second level. Just give an initial pop to Brandon Jones. He's going to cause Jones to lose balance and be taken out of the play. And the this, this second level is compromised instantly by a slow read and recognition and reaction by Baker and Brandon Jones just not having the prerequisite strength at the second level when a guard comes there. So look at, look at Baker's flat-footed right now. He's just watching, right? Baker now has started to break, and Devin Singletary is almost about a yard and a half past the line of scrimmage. You see right there at about the 42-yard line, the pop on Brandon Jones. His back is now towards the play. He's out of it. And there you go. Just like lightning, Devin Singletary is up the seam and down the left sideline for a touchdown. So. This is what I talk about. Baker doesn't have great read and recognition skills. Again, watch to the second level. Pop, you're done. Baker's now just breaking. Just breaking. And it's too late. He's washed out. He's He washed himself out. And that's a touchdown. Like, Baker just reacted so slow there. It was... Unreal. So, again, um, I hate to be picking on Baker a little bit here, but I'm going to. So, what I'm just going to highlight here is if you look at the um, the right the right edge for the, Miami, the right side of the Miami Dolphins line, um, that's Phillips standing up, and that's Baker um, over top of the left tackle. Um, and I just want to show you, again, Baker having problems getting off blocks. But watch Jalen Phillips get off that block. He works harder to get off the block. Watch. Okay, so the give right there. Look at he's already off his block. Baker can't get off of it. Baker just gets pushed back and driven into his man. So y'all have been wondering where Phillips is. Look at Phillips. He's able to look at fights, hand fighting, gets off of it. Makes the tackle. Baker just falls back in the man, but the damage is already done. Can't set the edge, boys. Can't set the edge. All right. Um, so this is Baker right here again. 
Um, basically, what's going to happen here is you got Baker right here over the B gap, shading the outside shoulder of the left guard and the inside shoulder of the left tackle. And what he's going to do is he's going to he's going to drop back into the mid middle of the field, another buck drop. And what he's actually going to do is he's going to bite. They're going to bring a mesh concept um, with two drags over the short part of the field. And then behind that, they are going to bring um, Cole Beasley on a crosser route. And what they're going to do is watch Jerome Baker against instinctual. You got to play with instincts. He's going to bite. Right here, he flips it back into his into his zone. Like, he bites on the digs right there, right? He bites on that digs drag without realizing he's got help back here. Yes, it's about a yard back from him, but he's got help if that catch is made. So you don't need to overly bite on that. But if you see right here at the 35, Beasley's now coming across right in the middle of that field. That's Baker's area. That's on Baker, Jerome Baker. Now Jerome Baker is realizing, oh, crap. Look at the middle of the real estate that they, he gave him over the middle of the field because he didn't buck drop back far enough. And now it's there. And big game. So just got to do a better job. Right? He's watching. He's watching. If you watch him, he's watching the running back out of the backfield. The running back is coming to his side. It's going to be his priority. Now the mesh concept begins right in front of him. Watch. Now he's moving towards Diggs. He's biting on Diggs. He's mirroring Diggs, right? Without realizing, look at there's help over here on this, so he left him. But there's help all the way over here on the other side to help with this Diggs route. And instead, now Beasley, you can see him coming behind Baker. Boom, right there. Um, all right, so this is just a piss poor tackling effort by Jerome Baker. Um, he's gonna be um on the bottom of your screen right now. Um and I want you to watch the effort he gives on the ball carrier. This is just about, this is an effort play for me. He gets free. Look at the one time Jerome Baker sheds a tackler. Look at this. And that's the effort you get tackling. He goes high and he can't get a hold of the shoulders and it's over with. One more time. Look at Jerome, because it's a tight end, gets off the block right here and it's kicked out. Look at, he's right there. He's ready. Goes, look at that. Didn't even wrap him. Didn't even wrap him. Didn't even attempt to. Just goes high on the chest. And now it's kicked out. McCordy goes low. Like, just a piss poor effort. Uh, and then finally, Alandon Roberts. Now, this actually made me mad because Javon Holland did this earlier on a seven-yard run by Zach Moss. Um, and now, now Alandon Roberts does it. Now, watch. The defensive line does a great job of opening the hole so Alana Roberts can scrape over and get a one-on-one -on -one with the back. But watch what he does. Okay, hole's open, right? Look at that. And now you see him pursuing at the top of the A. Alana Roberts goes for the big hit. Alana Roberts goes to pop him to send an echo through the stadium instead of wrapping them, and it's a touchdown. Like, tackling fundamentals here. Like, B Bernard McKinney is wrapping that runner-up, and he's getting stuffed. Look it. You got a one -on That is tunnel of love right there. You got a one-on-one. -on -one. You're on downhill, full momentum, and what does he do? I want the hit. Moss just lowered his shoulder, prepared for the hit, and he bounced off him into the end zone. Like, you need a better effort there. 
That is a bad effort. Look at that. Inexcusable. They gave you the one-on-one. -on -one. And look at that. Because you go for the big hit, instead of being responsible and being a sure tackler, they put up six on you. Poor. George, you're not wrong because I said last year, Baker is an off-the-ball blitzer, line, blitzing linebacker. Use him shooting gaps. Use him off the line of scrimmage between the tackles. But that's what he's best at. That's how they use him for the majority of last year. That's how they found that success. Anyways, look at this. That is Baker's washed out. I mean, like, look, we see Baker being washed out all the way back to the middle of the end zone. He's the furthest pushback defender. That is your bread and butter, Landon Roberts. You are supposed to make that stop. That is your stop to make, Landon. Look at Siler Washington. They created the lane for you to scrape over, fill the gap, and this is the effort you give tackling. Give me a break. I don't know why we got rid of McKinney if we're going to get that kind of effort. So, guys, yeah, that's, uh, you know, a lot of poor stuff. And, you know, we explained some of the big plays that happened was because of the second level. I mean, we just need better stuff. And that was just to show you, man, I don't know who this team thought they were affording, you know, thinking they could afford getting rid of a talent like McKinney. Baker, for all the money he got paid, look at all the lapses we've seen in the first two weeks. So he's been exposed a little bit again. So, you know, for, for having too much responsibility in his defense. So we just need better play on that. That second level right now is one of our, it is the Achilles heel of our defense. We just need better effort. We need better stuff up there um, from that. Def that second level, man.